plants really do talk to each other. That's next on today's Creation Moment. And now, here's our Creation Moments host, Ian Taylor. For many years, Creation Moments have been sharing information about the ways that plants and trees talk to one another to protect each other from invaders. Many scientists have ridiculed us for making such outrageous claims, but they're not laughing any longer. As Wired Online recently commented, the evidence for plant communication is only a few decades old. The first few talking tree papers were quickly shot down as statistically flawed or too artificial and research ground to a halt. But the science of plant communication is now staging a comeback. Though plant communication is still a tiny field, the scientists who study it are no longer seen as a lunatic fringe. Richard Carban, an ecologist at the University of California at Davis, said, quote, It used to be that people wouldn't even talk to you. Why are you wasting my time with something we've already debunked, they would say. But scientists are now saying that plants not only communicate with other plants, they communicate with insects as well, sending airborne messengers that act as distress signals to predatory insects so that they will come and kill the plant-eating bugs. Though scientists are now learning more about how plants communicate, they appear to have little interest in learning about how God communicates with man. But scientists who are Christians know the blessing of communicating with God through prayer and the reading of His inspired Word. We now offer one of the Internet's largest selections of biblical creation books and DVDs. Visit our online bookstore at creationmoments.com. <laughs> 